Hi, I'm Jamie Carroll. I'm here today for the John Amico exclusive webinar. Okay, it's great to do. It's an amazing technology what we do. And it is going to be live and it is going to be bare bones. I like it to be real. This is like, as one of my girls said to me, it's like going on to one of your customers and actually experience it from that point. I don't want it to, you'll see some feed in it, you'll see the cameras, you'll see the cords. I want it to be real, I want it to be close to the hair, and the only way I could do it with three cameras, and we'll be, you know, the people will be switching with me quickly, is that we could actually get closer to the hair to show you. The main reason we're here today, other than saying hi, and I'm looking forward to coming on the 25th and the 26th of September at Oak Lawn for the two day workshop with the show, and also to we're doing the breakout workshops, and not only me, friends from, um, Italy and all over America and particularly I have to say hi to a very close friend of mine I'm looking forward to see Karen Gordon coming out what a fabulous um, uh, seminar she'll be doing um, including talking about the systems her and her late husband Jerry Gordon did who some of you have met and I miss Jerry tremendously and I also do want to thank John and John Senior to to get me involved in such a wonderful event the times I've been there and a big shout out to all my um, friends, uh, Rhonda and Sandy and all those guys. Now, so let's get into the seminar. This is only gonna take about 10 minutes from start to finish. So, and then afterwards, more importantly, make sure you stay on to ask me some questions. Okay, so I just wanted to show you first, there's many padding products. This is what we're going to do, it's a hair mates. That's what John's called them. So it's gonna be the Amico hair mates. So he could have lots of hair mates, but this happens to be these hair mates today. So, what I want to tell you is, some of them can look similar, but they don't create the same effect. So I'm just going to get the myth out of the way, and we're going to show you the three different ways of their maze, or tell you the three different ways. The first one is a one that a lot of you would know. Um, hi, that's it, it's not the camera, it's close. It's, it's funny, when it's, when it's live, you, you just let it, let it happen. Um, some of them are made by plastics, which this one is. They're unforgiving, they don't do the natural shape of the head, and also too, they don't mold, so it lacks in molding into the shape that you need. Probably a second one, which has been out in the market the last couple of years, there's ones that use a, a similar head mesh wrap to what we're using, and which are stuffed with synthetic fibers. What I found is they, ha they lack the ability to maintain the desired shape long term for the customer, and also too, I didn't feel they could grip the pins as good. So you would slip and you get movement within the shape of what you're creating. So today we're going to, I'm just pick up the, the two or three of the shapes in the different colors. And today we're going to, and I'll just show you one up close. I'm gonna show you the padding. Now this one creates consistent volume and due to the uh, synergy of the closely woven, I suppose, uh, mesh is the best way to explain it. It's constructed uniquely for an internal um, fibers which contour the head and it feels a lot softer and it's easy to slip um, bobby pins, hair pins, fringe pins and all that into it. So when I'm there on the 20th, 26th, we'll be doing breakout workshops to show you these in greater detail than today. I just want to give you a, a quick hairstyle and also to make sure you all stay on the phone at the end of the seminar today or the little webinar that we're doing and I look forward to um, answering any of your questions and again thank you so much and more importantly which is a question you're probably asking it's I think they're $15, $15 for one or if you buy three which is um, you get one free which is $45 so just get that for the handmates for John Amico so you can get they're, they're there available now I believe in the at the Amico uh, number that you all, all you guys know so um, let's no longer talk and get into do some hair. Okay, thank you. Okay, this is Sophie and she's gonna be our little model today. How you doing? Good thing. I'm very uh, patient. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the padding and this is the padding we're gonna do. Now remember, with the padding that I mentioned at the start, you'll either be able to sell this to your customer or you'll be able to rent it out for a special occasion, which I know Sophie has every once in a while. Not that a mother lets her. <laughs> but anyway, so let's just pull the hair through the um, middle of the donut here. Let's just twist the hair a little bit, as we can see here through that camera through the top. Now I know you hear my voice, can't see my face at the moment, but all I'm doing is I'm really just sort of 
just going to do some hair here and I don't want to bore you guys all night so I'm just going to pull the padding into there. Now as I mentioned at the start, this one has a consistent um, volume of, um, of uh, padding and meshing through the actual hair, which is like a woven mesh I suppose, specially constructed for the, a unique shape and design. So it's really flexible, say compared to uh, one of the others, which I can just show you now, um, here through here. So this is not as flexible, you see them on us, look at the padding. The packaging is not as nice as these ones, so it's really important um, that you can see the packaging here um, for that sort of thing. So, we're just going to do the back of the hair first, and I'm just going to divide it into three sections. You'll see one this side, two in the middle, and one down this side to the left of me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap the hair over and then in and out and just keep it just twisted through there. I don't want to create too much of a braid. I just want to keep it fairly twisted and soft and textured. So now, as I finish through here, I want to wrap the hair, okay, and just loosen it up a little bit around the donut through that whole process here on this side and I want to pin the hair into the donut. So using the donut as a, as a form of securing the hair and then separate the hair through, through here, through that side, break it all up, tuck that in there. So we're starting to create a little bit of a shape there cover up the donut. Remember, depending on the colour of the hair, we have the two colours. You have the dark and you have the, the blonde. And then we've got a really nice little shape through into the front there. So we can sort of see through here. And you can see through this camera through here. We're starting to create a nice volume shape through the back there. I'm just going to use this little clip in the bottom there. Also, you would have noticed um, we had some bands here and basically I added two band uh, pins through the bands and wrap them around the bottom and then wrap some hair around there as well which is important. One of the other things that is new to what I've been trying to try out is if you're starting to say we move to the side here and you can see through this side if we separate it into probably three sections through here I would we've got a lot of hair here and what I would do to make it easier is grab these new little pins that I'll be playing with and we'll just pop them up here just to hold it so it doesn't indent the hair and we'll just grab these other two to start with and what we'll do is we're going to twist them again and maybe not or no we won't not we'll just twist through here and I want to bring the hair in a little bit later just to create that little bit of shape there and we'll just do that through there, that through there, and then we we'll just twist that through that side there. And then what I'm going to do is just literally wrap that around the hair again. I'm going to pin that shape in at the back. Okay, then we're going to loosen that up through the side there. And you start to see that separate through that side. And we'll get a little bit of spray through there. And you can see from the back then, it starts to make a nice clean shape through there. So, I'm just going to tuck that in there. Now we're going to come around to the other side here. And we're going to do the same. We're just going to separate down through the back there. I'm going to put the pin clip up for the thing with a little bit of padding on it. You can see that, just holding it there. I can show it you up close in the camera. And get on here, see, up there, up there, see that little clip there. They're very good. Hello John, hello everybody over there, and John Senior particularly. And also to my other friend, and she knows who she is with the eyes. Yep, that's what we've got to do. I must say, after all these years of working with different people and different families, it's been an honour to work with the Amigo families. And I mean the Amigo family from the great Amigo family, which is the rest of you guys that are the customers of Amigos. It's been a great experience. Oops, get that one right there. Now, I just want to bring this one around twice. Drop this other one in a minute. Yep, we'll drop that one in. And 
we just want to bring that in there, twist that through three ways, and again wrap that around through the front, around the sides, and we'll just pin that into the back, and we just break that up a little bit, grab another pin to secure there, and we'll just do some hairspray. So, one of the other things we're going to be doing when we're at Chicago, Chicago, is we're going to be doing a thing on Tuesday morning that actually is a special event for everybody that wants to come. And one of the reasons that is, it's like a VIP morning, and one of the reasons I'm looking forward to doing that is the show that I'm doing on Sunday night, which is a very avant-garde about shapes and all that sort of stuff, I'm going to also be sharing how I put all that together. Now, I'm going to be creating shapes without hair, but show you how you can be really creative and avant-garde with it, but it's also fun to sort of understand where it all comes from. So, as we can see through here in the mirror, just get the balance. If we turn back to the camera this way, we can sort of see the hair from that angle. There you are, there you are, so you over there. Thank you so much. And guys, I can't wait to see you and look forward to it. And um, let's recap and let's go on the phones and talk to each other.